Hi everybody, so today I have a review and the review is going to be about the Louis Vuitton multicolor items. I have two items here that I wanted to show you guys and I just wanted to show you guys some wear and tear and how it's held up and is it really worth spending the extra money and buying it pre-love because I noticed that ever since this product has been discontinued, a lot of people have been marking up this items like ridiculous like two times its uh, retail price now i understand it's discontinued it's very very hard to get now but is it really worth it does it wear really well that it'll last longer here it is this is the older version of the sarah wallet it is in the black um called noir i do have the uh i forget what it's called the inside but it is like the lavender the lavender color inside so that's that and then i also have the pm agenda that they came out with with the vaqueta lining so this is the first one that they came out with and uh this one i bought pre-loved two years ago at a consignment shop in la mint condition brand new and everything and i'm the <laughs> you're gonna see the wear and tear on this that's all on me i'm the one who did that so yeah here are the two products and i'm going to start off with the wallet because this is the first um item i got it was this one and i believe i got this about four years ago three or four years ago if i can remember correctly and i was so in love with this at the time it wasn't they weren't planning on discontinuing it yet but ever since it became discontinued way more people have been wanting this product and i just wanted to show you guys um is it really worth it okay so i got this maybe three or four years ago and maybe six months into using it um i've already seen a lot of wear on it so the first thing i'm going to show you guys is the card slots this way you don't really see any um wear to it but if i do slant it you guys see this folding i noticed that it does this i don't know if it's just this one or if it's just the sarah wallets in general because my mom does have the canvas one the monogram canvas and but she's had that for about six years and it did the same thing it did curves so i don't know if this is just on the sarah wallet but it did do it on my multicolor as well um, as far as color transfer, um, I'm not really, I'm not really careless with my things, so color transfer wasn't really a problem with this, and especially I got the black, um, the base of it black. I didn't really have any problems with color transfer, and the inside is still very clean. I mean, I have a couple things in there that I left in there because I haven't really cleaned it out. I just switched out of it. Um, but yeah, the inside is in very, very good condition. So my only complaint is the card slots right here folding. If you guys can see right there, it does fold on all four card slots in the front. As far as the inside, um, this is the older version. So it has the card slots back here and I have no problems with the ones back here. And then the next problem I did have was the button. This one is a new button because they did replace it for me a couple months back, maybe like three months ago, four months ago. I did make them send this out, but within two weeks of using it, I had a very noticeable like scuff or smudge here. And it was just, it was there completely. And there was no way of removing that. So right here, right in the middle, there was like a scuff and it looked silver, more like it, um, it like rubbed off. And that was only using it maybe within two weeks, um, but they did replace it with they did replace it for me, so that's completely brand new. And then the next thing that I that you could probably see right now is the cracking or the fading of the marks right here. So as you can see, in the white one, it's very obvious. You can see all the chipping. This has happened within less than a year of using this. So as you can see right there, and it goes all around the bottom, right, hopefully it focuses on you guys, right there. So these three rows right here in the back, the very bottom, 
and then the top the this part right here so they they smudge or they they rub off with the wear because it's just printed on there i mean they did warn me about this but i didn't think it would be as quickly as <laughs> less than a year i know i was thinking maybe like four years down the road five years down the road it'll do that but it happened less than a year so besides those cons this wallet has been really amazing i love the sarah wallet it is the older version i know the newer version that they did come out with was the envelope style and then it did have the uh, the pocket in the back and the button closure is way smaller than this one it was like half the size i don't know but for me i kind of like the older version because it's less of a hassle i mean it's just a straight cut you know you don't have to worry about the the ends of it folding up um i would think that they would fold up because it's more like a v like an envelope style and then the button is very attractive i like the big gold button honestly i wish that louis vuitton would just come out with the gold buttons again and stop with the leather buttons because i have a couple slgs from them that have those leather buttons and they wear very very easily especially if it's the lighter colors because i do have the rose ballerine i know it's kind of off topic but it's very annoying i already had one slg repaired and it's only been maybe two months since the repair and it's happening again yeah i i really wish they'll come out with you know the the metal buttons again because it's it wears way better my opinion on if is it worth it is it worth to spend the extra money for it now um to be honest i don't think so i don't think people should really book up the price twice as much as the retail price and maybe just a few but not twice as much um you know i don't want to name any stores or any consignment shops that do book up their prices ridiculously for these items but you know i think it shouldn't be that much um i know there's still some wallets that are available in stores so if you guys do have a chance on purchasing it if you guys really love this item like i do i would go ahead and go out and purchase it it's very pretty it's a timeless piece a collector's item now especially now that it's been discontinued i really think it's worth it to go out and find a store that still has, has some to purchase in store as far as pre-loved or buying it um you know at consignment shops if they're selling it to you for just a little bit over retail maybe like 50 bucks fine but i don't think it's fair to sell like this wallet right here i did buy this for about 600 something 600 something dollars qs dollars and um i believe like in pristine condition some or some consignment shops are selling this for about eight to nine hundred dollars that's just a little way too high um, but yeah, like my suggestion is to maybe look for a consignment shop that doesn't really book up the prices that much Like with this other item that I'm about to show you guys If you guys still do want the wallet, I know there's still a couple stores like the store that we have here And um, they do still carry the Sarah wallet and the Insulite and the Zippy the Zippy wallet and it's still the same price as if you were to buy it when it was discontinued or not it's still around the same price and yeah if you're really if you really really want it i really do suggest just buying it in store or trying to find an essay that will is willing to look for it and ship it to your location that's my fair share um on the multicolor wallet and then the next one i wanted to show you guys is the pm agenda so this one i got this when i was in la i was there for my dad's medical procedure and i was just looking through yelp i was looking for at consignment shops and there was this one consignment shop that i found in koreatown and i wanted to just go and check it out i wasn't really planning on buying anything but when i walked in there i did see this pm agenda now at the time it wasn't being discontinued as well the, the multicolor but this one they did stop the production on this one with the with the vaquetta the is it vaquetta yeah the vaquetta and the metal the metal corners right here they did stop the production of this and 
they were selling it for a really really good price that i know it's authentic because it has patinaed when i did first get this it was white like if you were to get a new bag from the store it was like that it was completely white there was nowhere to it nothing it had its um it still had the what's it called it still had the stickers it still had the ruler that it came with the one right here the ruler it came with all of that and it was completely clean now i have used and abused this but it still looks amazing i don't know why with this one the the print on it doesn't wear as much as the wallet maybe because the wallet i do off, i use it more often the print hasn't faded in any of it as you guys can see right here it hasn't faded and it's in very pristine condition on the canvas now the patina it has patinaed very nicely and evenly i mean there's some darker spots because that's just my fault like right here uh, i don't know how that happened but i know it's my fault because i'm the only person that touches this thing and then there are some darker edges right here that's just i i just believe that's through color transfer with me um switching bags and it just going in and out of places and my desk i know this item has been discontinued ever since and they did have a newer version where the canvas goes all around there's no vaquetta on it so when i saw this item i was kind of skeptical i was like should i really get it will i use it and you know i wasn't really sure is this authentic i went ahead and went for it and when she told me how much it was i think she was saying it was around 400 dollars and this one was retailing at 500 something i know around that price like 500 something and when i heard her say 400 i was like okay so not bad you know it was like in brand new condition and they don't make it anymore and then she was like if you're really interested in that agenda i could give it to you for 350 and you know so i was like okay so that sounds fair and then she when i was about to purchase it she was actually asking me if i was gonna purchase with credit card or cash i told her i was gonna pay with cash and she was like great because if you're going to use cash um i'll sell it to you for 300 dollars." and i was like okay yeah i'm really gonna get this item now so i did purchase this for 300 dollars at a consignment shop in la um but now that i searched them up it did mention that they're closed already i don't know why and i know it's authentic because i had brought this to an lv store here and they took a look at it and they were saying yes it's you know they're not really supposed to say that it's authentic but you know i kind of know them and they were like secretly saying yeah it's it's a good item they were they didn't say the word authentic they just said yes it's a good purchase so you know that's kind of like them saying it secretly like read between the lines the purchase was good i was really happy to get this item so i have been contemplating on purchasing a canvas one because i wanted to put this to rest and kind of you know preserve it and make it last longer but all this color is just it's so fun it like it just gravitates to you so i love pulling this out i have been using this for work so that's why all of this wear on it has been there and as far as the inside it has been really good as well i was using this um non-stop because i i don't know i just wanted to use it and i stuffed a bunch of um cards in here some cash in here i, I did use this as like a wallet and a agenda at the same time when i was there at la and it, yeah it just it held up really well it's still holding up pretty well and I think it's an amazing item. Basically, the multicolor items are a great product. Um, as far as the, the you know the fading on the print, it's it's inevitable. It will happen no matter what because our hands just touch it and it'll fade eventually. But as much as it fades, it's very very vibrant and it's so full of life. I love the colors on this. It's just it's amazing. So if you guys are really contemplating on getting these items, I really think you should. And yeah, so just don't overpay. That's all I'm going to say to you guys is please don't overpay. If you guys are really interested in this item, do your research and find a good seller. Find a good seller that is willing to sell it to you guys fairly. 
and yeah like I mentioned earlier the wallets are still available in stores it's not available online anymore but it might be available in stores I know there's still some places that are selling it and as for the planner you know I don't think you'll ever find this in the stores anymore but like I said pre-loved please just don't get ripped off um, <laughs> bargain with them or something uh, but yeah it's it's amazing I don't regret them at all I don't ever think I want to sell these items and yeah so if you guys have any other questions please feel free to comment down below and don't forget to subscribe for my channel for more videos and I'll see you guys in my next video Bye!